Welcome back to another episode of Asuma's Show. As always, we've got video highlights and featured channels, but this episode we have a Spider XP farm as well, available for download for those of you that requested it. But before we take a closer look at that, let's jump into the channel news. So here we are on the channel page, and as you can see, I've made a new layout for the channel. We've got these nicer, easier to read buttons here at the top, and there's a new one which is live stream. And I've been live streaming on twitch.tv slash Asuma, and people seem to really enjoy it, so I'm planning on doing that more often, maybe on a regular basis. And there's a possibility that we'll be doing a live stream this Saturday, although I can't confirm anything. There will be a video going up on Friday, letting you know the details of that if it goes ahead. So as well as that I've also been given this new shop feature and in the past I've been requested to make some merchandise like uh, mouse pads or t-shirts so now I can actually add that to the channel I was thinking of perhaps looking into doing that so please let me know if you have any ideas or thoughts on that in the comment box. So as well as that since the last video I've added a few new people to the box down the side here. We've got Theory Movies who make uh, redstone mini games, uh, mainly multiplayer ones and I've played a couple of them myself, they're really fun so they're worth checking out if you want to play some games with your friends. We've also got Kearshar down here in the box and if you don't know who Kearshar is he's an old school player and makes a lot of traps in Minecraft. I've been playing some PvP with him as well so really cool guy, well worth checking out. And also we got Minecrafted here, and these are the guys that do Pimp My Minecraft, and they recently pimped out the Yogg's Cave and also the Syndicate Project, so another channel well worth checking out. So let's take a look at the Spider XP farm. Some of you may have been wondering why I didn't make a tutorial for this, and the reason why is because I've had a lot of problems with it. Uh, first of all, it doesn't work in the daytime, and also it can be quite tricky to get these spiders to actually form a little group here but if we set it to night and put myself into survival mode then the spiders will start tracking me and uh, this may take some time but eventually they do form a little group here like they do with cave spiders and so because of those couple of things I've put off making a tutorial for a long time and I don't think I ever will uh, finally be happy with this enough that I would make one so I thought the best thing to do is just to release this to you and then for those of you that want to make one of these traps you can come here have a look at how it all works and figure it out for yourself and there you go they finally formed a little group but let's have a look as well um, you got the spawn room in here and I realized earlier when double checking that this was on the right axis that I'd actually made this uh, the wrong size quite a while ago so it doesn't really affect it too much but if we look under here you can see that the signs lead them into a two wide water stream and that goes to a single point which pushes them through uh, to this bit here which is outside of the escape area so you can have more than six gather in this area and then like the cave spider spawner we've also got the same monostable circuit to use and originally I thought that you'd have to crush them with multiple blocks and that was one of the reasons I wasn't uh, happy with it as well but I took another look at it when I decided to put this in the show and yeah, I figured out that you can actually just crush it with one block and also stop them from coming in with one block as well. So let's do that. I'll put myself into survival mode as well and hit the switch. And I think I left it on by mistake. Okay, yeah, that's not going to work properly now. Okay, let's do that again. Okay, I've reset the trap and I've reloaded a bunch of spiders. I set it to peaceful so that they all despawned. So we've got a bunch of full health ones here hit them on a stable circuit it activates the crusher and it's also blocked them off below from more of them entering and there you go there should now all be one hit kill and there you go that's the spider xp farm <laughs> this episode I have five videos to show you in the video highlights and the first of which is by hypnotized and this is really useful for all of you that play on servers if you've ever built a mob trap and you have glitchy mobs then this is a solution for that and as you can see at the moment this is what normally happens on a server the mobs all glitch around and hypnos built a solution for this so if you ever use a mob trap you can use this tutorial and find out how to stop them from glitching around our second video is of a base built by Sir Rob Hi-Fi and Gore Whisper on an Anarchy server. This is one that me and Kearshar played on a long time ago when doing live streams 
and Rob and Gore Whisper decided to take over the base and they've made an absolutely amazing one on an anarchy server and this is a server with no rules if people find your base they'll destroy it and tear it apart but as you can see they've done a really good job and they haven't been discovered yet so really worth checking out this video as it's a very cool base all built legitimately on a server where everyone tries to hunt you down and yeah destroy your base our third video pretty much speaks for itself Corella showed me this he said I should check out this video and this is what the people on one of his servers have been building and it's absolutely amazing architecture as you can see I've never seen uh, buildings quite like that I was really blown away by it so I'm happy to share this with you if you click on the link it will link you directly to the part of the video where they tour this part of the server and I don't know who made this but it's really amazing architecture our fourth video is called Minecraft over engineering by Stephen AU and what he does is he takes something really simple like a sand door and over engineers it to the point that it lags the game really interesting video with tons of redstone and I think there's now a second episode in this series our fifth video today is by none other than Biffa2001 and yet on the Hermitcraft server he was the first person to get pranked and well I'm going to spoil it for you by showing you it now but the video is still well worth checking out uh, Biffa's reaction is hilarious and yeah Hypno, uh, Joe Hills and Generic B went over to Biffa's base and they filled it all in with water which is what he'd been doing, he'd been removing all of the water from the ocean and they went over there and filled it all back in This episode I have three featured channels for you, the first of which is Joe Hills. Joe is well known for his super hostile playthroughs and dying in fires and I'm very pleased to tell you he's now a member of Hermitcraft and has already made several episodes on the server. So check out his channel for tons of great playthroughs and more Hermitcraft. Our second featured channel is a friend of mine, it's H2211Games and whenever H puts out a video I always feel like I learned something. He's always inventing and coming up with solutions for problems and as you can see he's got lots of videos out already. The latest of which is a working minecart monorail system in Minecraft so well worth checking out. Our third and final featured channel today is Zuljin's Let's Play and Zuljin sent me an episode of his quite some time ago, I watched it all and I really enjoyed it, it's a traditional LP but I liked his commentary style and at the moment I think he's playing on the Minecraft server and doing an SMP series there as well, but he's been uploading videos for a long time so if you're looking for another Let's Play channel to check out then I recommend this one. So that's it for this episode, you can find a download link to the Spider XP farm in the description box where you can also find links to all of the featured videos and channels. So thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.